Hi all, I'm really super, um, super excited that you're here today to um, learn about scientific notation and how we can read, write it, and solve problems using it. So uh, that is 8.3, let's dive in. Um, scientific notation, what it is, it's a, it's a really nice way of expressing numbers that are too big or too small to be conveniently written in decimal form. So for example, 4.7 times 10 uh, to the eighth is a nice number in scientific notation. And um, that is what we're gonna look at, is writing numbers like that. Uh, so essentially some examples here, um, you can see the first one that I have written here, 4.26 uh, times 10 to the 12th. What that means actually is we would take this decimal point right here and we would move it over to the right 12 times. So a number with a, an exponent like 12 just means that we're moving that decimal point over 12 times. Now, the reason we're doing that, the reason we can do that is because we're multiplying by base 10. If you think about base 10, um, it just means that when you multiply something by 10, you can move the decimal point over. And that's why we use the base 10 right there. Um, when you and so that's obviously a really really large number like that when you have a negative exponent we've learned about negative exponents before essentially the decimal point goes in the other direction all right because if you think about it if you remember just look at the screen down here you know 10 to the negative fifth is the same as 1 over 10 to the fifth so you're really multiplying by 1 10 times 1 10 times 1 10 so the number is getting smaller and i guess i should do it five times right 1 10th and 1 10th it's like you're really multiplying by that you know 1 10th um, five times for that one. And that's why we can move the decimal point the other direction. All right. So that's what you guys are going to do. You're going to practice writing, kind of going both ways, going from, you know, scientific to standard and standard to scientific. So that's what we're going to look at doing here. So what I want you guys to do is I want you to pause these, see if you can write them in standard form. All right, pause, try to do these four problems. All right. I'm going to go ahead and write the four answers down here in a second. Uh, you should be paused. You're doing them. I'm going to put them down right here. All right, hopefully you're back with us now. So 5.2 times 10 to the ninth. What that means is you're going to take this decimal point. Here's one way I do like to do this. I do like to move it over nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And that's where the decimal point's going to go for this one because we're multiplying it by, you know, 5.2 times 10, nine times. Um, you know, so we could just fill all those in with zeros right there. And that's one nice way to do this problem. So you would get a five and a two and you get eight zeros. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Put the commas in the right spot, like using commas when I write them in standard notation. So it looks like we get the number, um, looks like this is five billion, two hundred million. All right. Um, <clears throat> this one right here, it's like we're multiplying by one over 10, eight times. So obviously the decimal point is going to go in this direction uh, eight times. So we get the number negative. 0 0.12345 so actually be seven zeros there and then you get three six eight seven that's our answer all right now that one did happen to be negative because we had a negative that was out in front of the, the 3.687 all right uh next one we have 6.32 times 10 to the 14th and again you're moving the decimal point over 14 times to the right because uh, you're multiplying by 10 14 times so it's going to get a really large number so it would be six a three a two and i'll actually have 12 zeros now one two three four five six seven nine ten eleven twelve let's put some commas in here and i believe this number is what's this did i do that right to have 12 one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so we got million billion looks like 632 um looks like 632 trillion right there million billion trillion all right um yeah that's right now i did say 12 zeros why did i say 12 zeros well the first two times i moved it over i didn't technically need a zero right there so then i just move it over 12 times after that um and then this uh this last one here we have a negative four so we would have zero point one, two, three zeros, and then our five, zero, three, four. And it's kind of like our first move. Like if we think of it as moves one, two, three, four, you can see our first move kind of moved it to the other side of the five. That's why we only have three zeros there. All right. That's standard four. Um, you're obviously going to go the other direction. All right. So, um, you know, this is an example, 43,700 or 43,700,000. You're going to move that over and, and you just got to count count how many times to move it over and figure out how many tens you're multiplying by or how many one tenths you're multiplying by. And that's really it. Um, pause here, try them, see what you get. I'll do them here in a second. All right, we're back. So 
This first one here, you're going to move that decimal point over. We can count it up one, two, three, four times. So we would say it's three times 10 to the negative fourth because we're really multiplying it by one tenth four times. All right. Next one, how many times we move it over? It looks like three, six, nine, looks like 10 times. So we'd get 2.6 times 10 to the ninth. All right. Uh, next one, how many times we move it over? It looks like one, two, three, four, five, six times. Uh, we get 7.21 times 10 to the negative six. Now, something I, I probably should have mentioned earlier that I haven't yet. Uh, our, in our scientific notation, uh, this number, this like where this three is right here and where this two is, we need these numbers to be between, including, it needs to be one through nine. So we can't have like 10 point something. So the reason why I didn't move it over another time and write 72.1 times 10 to the negative seventh is because I need that number to be one through nine. I probably should have mentioned that earlier, but glad I mentioned it. Uh, and the last one here, we move it over three times, six times, seven times. Looks like we get 7.13 times 10 to the seventh. And again, notice how I did not, um, I didn't stop you know, after I got it to the three right there, I didn't stop it when I got to the in between the three and the zero, I didn't write 713. You have to have that number between one and nine. All right. Um, sometimes we're going to take numbers and multiply them together in scientific notation like this. I'm going to grab my calculator here, but I'm going to show you that it's not going to be too bad. Um, I might ask you to write it both ways. Let's just see here what I got here. I'm going to ask you to maybe write it both ways. Um, so the first one here, I'm going to walk you through how to do this one, and then I'm going to have you try the next three. We can use our rules of exponents here, which is really, really cool. All right. So first thing that I probably want to do is I probably just want to do 3 times 2.5 to see what that is. So, you know, multiplication, I can multiply numbers in any order that I want. So when I do 3 times 2 point, <coughs> excuse me, 3 times 2.5, I get 7.5. And that's a good number right there. And then I would say times 10 to the... I can just add these exponents up. So 10 to the five plus three is eight power. And again, the reason I can do that is because um, um, multiplication, you can see it's all multiplication right there. So we can do multiplication in any order. Two times three is the same as three is. Three times two, they're both six. Uh, so we can multiply them in any order. And that is a real nice shortcut on how to do this one right here. Now, if you wanted to write this out, in standard notation, you would write a seven, a five, and then we'd have, you know, seven zeros, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So let's see what that number actually is. Looks like it's going to be 750 million. All right. Uh, let's go to the next one right here. So in this particular one, I would go 1.7 times 4.3, and I get 7.31. All right. Times 10. And if you think about this, we have a negative two and a negative four. Let's add those together. That would be negative six right there. All right, so if we want to write this out in standard notation, it would be 0 0.1234573 one. All right. Uh, next one right here. 7 times 3 is 21. And we have times 10 to the, let's add them together, 2 plus 5 is going to be 7. Now, this one's a little tricky because we are technically not in scientific notation. Some of you might be like, it looks like scientific notation. But remember, it's got to be a number between 1 through 9. Notice what it's actually 21 right now. So the decimal point is where I'm going to put that little x right there. So essentially, I need to take a 10 away from this one. So think about this. If I took a 10 away from the 21, all right, I divided by 10, I, I took one away. We still have to make the number the same. So what do you think we do to this one? We got to add it over here. So if I move this over one time, all right, I need to add a 10 to the side. So this would be 2.1 times 10 to the eighth power. And that's technically what it is. Let's write in scientific as well. So it'd be a two of one and then seven zeros. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I know I'm writing really small there, but to fit it out. So it looks like it's 210 million. All right. Last one here. Uh, two times one is two. And then we have um, times 10 to the negative four and negative four. Add those together. We get negative eight right there. And again, if you want to write in scientific, now this one we're okay because that's a two right there. So that's between one and nine. Uh, so we just go and write it like the 0 0.1234567. And then we put a two right there. So hopefully you did okay on those. And hopefully you see kind of what's going on there. We are going to divide some as well. Rules of exponents work here as well. So our division rules work just great. All right, let's go ahead and do these two. You're going to see they're not too bad. Division and multiplication are great operations that work well with one another. So we can divide um, actually before we multiply right here. And that's our shortcut. So take the 9, divide by 3, and we would get 3. And then we have the 10 to the 7th over 10 to the 4th. That would be, remember what we do with the 7 and the 4? What do we do with those exponents? We subtract them. So it would be 10 to the 3rd. 
which if you wanted to then write it out, it'd be a three um, with essentially three zeros right there. We moved that decimal point over, so 3,000. All right, try the next one, see what you get. Pause it, try it. All right, we're back. 8.6 divided by 4.3 is going to be 2 times 10 to the 20 minus 5 would be 15. All right, I'm not even going to write this one out because this would be a 2 with 15 zeros behind it. So um, you could obviously write that long number out there if you wanted to, but understand that that's what it would be. All right. So again, when you're dividing numbers with scientific notation, you can just, you know, use these shortcut, these rules of exponents that we've taught you. Um, so last problem is a great problem here. Um, I really like it. Um, I'd like you to pause it, read it, and then um, uh, we'll dive into it. So essentially what it talks about is it talks about light year not being distance. And it says a light year is a distance a beam of light travels in a sing single year, which is six trillion times. All right. Um, it says the closest star forming region to us is the Orin Nebula, which is 1,300 light years away. How many miles is this? So what we need to do is we need to take these two numbers and we need to multiply them together. If you want to pause again and try to do that, you can. It says you write your answer in scientific and standard notation. All right. So let's start with 6 trillion. I'm going to actually write that in scientific notation right now. 6 trillion is 6 times 10 to the 12th power. All right. Let's just make sure I did that right here. Let's see. Million, billion, trillion. So 3, 6, 9, 12. Okay. So that's, that's how far uh, light travels in a year. And then it says the nebula is one point is essentially, I, I could write this in scientific notation as well, 1.3 times 10 to the third power, uh, because that's how many light years away that is from us. So we need to take these two numbers. Here's number one, and we need to multiply it by number two. And that's how many miles away um, this star forming region is to us. And again, we could use our rules of exponents. Six times 1.3 ends up being 7.8. And then... 10 to the 12th times 10 to the third would be 10 to the 15th power. All right. So that is it in uh, scientific notation. I'm going to let you write it in standard notation. Uh, if you'd like standard notation, the, we would just move that decimal point over 15 times. So it'd essentially be a seven, an eight, and then 14 zeros. All right. So that's kind of a fun real life uh, problem. Um, and hopefully this all makes sense to you. So if you have questions, definitely ask. But thanks for watching. Thank you.